As we continue to talk about tools in My Viewboard Whiteboard Online, this video is going to be focused on the backgrounds that are located at the bottom of the toolbar that is located on the right hand side of your screen. At the very bottom, you are going to see this little picturesque image um, with some mountains and a sun, and which is where your backgrounds are going to be located. I'm going to go ahead and go to the next page just so that we can do a few tasks to show you some things. First thing is changing the color, and that's by going into the backgrounds button by left clicking it, going down to color, and from there selecting a color that you would like. Now you can either apply to all pages or apply to this page. Keep in mind that applying it to only one page will keep that color stationary, while applying to all pages will change all of the, the backgrounds of all of the pages that you have currently. Now I'm going to go ahead and change it back to this one color just so it looks a little bit nicer. Now going back into it, you do also have what we call originals. And what originals are is original content made by ViewSonic for you to use in the classroom. Now in here, as you can see on the left hand side, there are so many different subjects. Even on the main search bar, there's already so much there as well. So in here, if you just want to go to a subject that you would like to look at, I went ahead and went to worksheet. You can see there's a ton of different worksheets that I could go ahead and apply onto my background. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a new page just so that this is a little bit clearer for you. And I'm just going to go back to that icon that's in the lower right hand side where those backgrounds are. Go to my originals. From there, go ahead and click on worksheet. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and scroll through all the different tracing lessons and I'm going to do C for car because also my name is Courtney, so it's a little bit easier that way too. And I'm just going to apply it to this page. Once it goes ahead and loads up, it's going to place that background onto your canvas and it's going to be ready to go for you to go ahead and trace directly on top of it or if any of your kiddos want to trace on top of it as well. I hope you like this short little video about backgrounds in my Viewboard Whiteboard Online, and I hope you stay tuned for more.